So we want to be patient. Walk them out here. Drop pop. And leave him. Patience on the hitch. We have to give him something to drop. Does that make sense? If we rush, he has a chance to recover. Last thing. You want to think about when we spin out of this, you want to be a man over. Let's hold from here. I want to complete this turn a man over. Does that make sense? Another good way to think about it is if I'm at the top of the numbers, I should finish bottom of it. If I just run this collision, because he's going to drive the route. That's the whole point of the hitch and go. Understood? All right, let's get to it. In this video, we'll go over winning on what we refer to as a hitch and go. When running this route, it's important that we make it look exactly like a hitch prior to turning it upfield. The depth of the hitch will vary based on situation and scheme. The receiver has an off cover defender and does a great job pushing his vertical stem and dropping his weight at the top of the route. It looks exactly like a hitch. Notice how the receiver snaps his head and eyes to the quarterback and squares his shoulders presenting himself as a target. This gives the DB an indicator to drive this route. Finally, watch the receiver complete the turn out of the hitch and get enough width to avoid collision. When the DB is beat on a double move, his last resort is to get just enough contact to mess up the timing. 